Hi, my name is Maddie and welcome to my channel. Today, I want to come on here and talk about fear. Fear is something I have really struggled with for a long time, pretty much almost all of my life. And recently, God has really set me free of fear in so many ways. I used to fear people and what they thought of me. I cared about my own reputation so much more than I cared about Christ. And God has really called me to a deeper place recently, a place of more obedience to him. And so I want to teach you guys how to really get out of the mindset of living in fear and not feeling secure, but instead trusting God and finding your security in him and the fact that he will never leave you. He will always be there for you no matter what you're going through. One thing that helps you get out of the mindset of fear is obeying God when he tells you to do something that's very scary just doing it and it is so hard to do that in the moment and it's so easy just to fight God and try to ignore what he's convicting you to do but I really encourage you to pray and ask God for the boldness and the courage to do it a lot of times I'll just pray God I pray that I would just do it <laughs> and I feel like that helps me a lot um, just depending on God for your strength and the courage to do the scary things that he's calling you to do. So obedience and prayer, that is so key. Just allowing God to change your mind, to change your heart, really just submitting to his will and just laying your rights down. It is so hard to do, but it's so worth it because everything that God is asking us to do is for our good and for the benefit of other people, it's always worth it to do it. And you will only ever regret not doing the things that God has asked you to do. The next thing I would say that has really helped me to overcome fear is changing my mindset. When I get really afraid to do something that God is telling me to do, I have to train my mind to not be afraid. I have to get in this mindset of, I do not care what other people think. For example, when I started wearing the head covering, I didn't do it for years because I thought it was just the craziest thing on earth and I was so afraid of how other people would perceive me for wearing it. And when I finally submitted to God, I just had to literally stop myself from caring what other people think. Every time a fearful thought would come into my head, I would just tell myself it does not matter what they think. Why do I care about these people's opinions of me? These people don't know me. And if they do know me and they're going to judge me for it or not want a relationship with me anymore, then I really should not care what they think because if I'm being obedient to God, that is all that matters. I really had to train myself to care what God thinks more than anybody else and just find that intimacy in my relationship with him to where I cared about his opinion more than anything. One way I do this is like I just talk to God in my head all day long just about everything like all my thoughts I just direct towards him and not not 100% of the time but I would say like I try to do that most of the time and I feel like that has really helped me in spending time in his word reading the bible um, that is huge for changing the way that you think about things. I'm going to share a few scriptures here that have really helped me and I feel like are really powerful for helping you overcome fear. The first scripture I'm going to read is Psalms 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. Whom should I dread? When evildoers came upon me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and my enemies, they stumbled and fell. If an army encamps against me, my heart will not fear. If war arises against me, in spite of this, I am confident. One thing I have asked from the Lord that I shall seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to meditate in his temple. For on the day of trouble, he will conceal me in his tabernacle. He will hide me in the secret place of his tent. He will lift me up on a rock. And now my head will be lifted up above my enemies around me. And I will offer sacrifices in his tent with shouts of joy. The next verses are going to be in Isaiah 51 verses 7 through 8. Listen to me, you who know right from wrong, you who cherish my law in your hearts. 
Do not be afraid of people's scorn, nor fear their insults. For the moth will devour them as it devours clothing. The worm will eat them as it eats wool. But my righteousness will last forever. My salvation will continue from generation to generation. The next verse is in Isaiah 54, verse 17. No weapon that is formed against you will prosper, and every tongue that accuses you in judgment you will condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their vindication is from me, declares the Lord. Jesus said that if the people in this world hated him, that they would hate us too. We are promised persecution when we are truly living righteously. But no matter what we go through, no matter how much we are persecuted, God has promised that he will never leave us or forsake us, that he will be with us until the end. So I just encourage you to not give up and to be obedient to God. Do what he's calling you to do. Don't be afraid. People are so much less powerful than we make them up to be. The things that God is calling us to do are not as scary as we think they are. So if that spoke to you, if those verses encouraged you and you're struggling with fear right now, struggling with fear of the future or fear of doing what God has called you to do and being obedient, I want to pray with you. Father God, I thank you so much for your word, God, the way that you speak to us through it. Your word is sharper than any two-edged sword piercing between bone and marrow. God, your word is powerful and alive. And it heals us and it comforts us, God. It gives us courage and strength. I pray, Lord, that you would wash whoever is watching this in your word, God. That they would spend time with you in your presence. That they would let it transform them and transform the way that they think about things, Father. I rebuke every spirit of fear right now in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for the peace of your presence and the boldness of your Holy Spirit to fill whoever is listening to this video right now. I pray that you would make them as bold as a lion. God, I pray that they would not be afraid to fully live for you, to follow your word, and to stand up for righteousness, God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.